you know, the whole story is about this Canadian who goes down to New York during the 20s. I mean, why'd you have to do that? Like, the main character's Canadian? I mean, why? It's pointless. It's just, it's like you're, you know, doing this to get a government grant or something. Why don't you just, like, <laughs> set it, you know, in New York the way it should be done? It was just like, I said, that's the novel that Wallace Thurman wrote. He wrote a novel about a Canadian, a Torontonian, coming to New York. And that's what he wrote, and I wanted to present his novel on the stage. And he was like, oh, 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 okay, well, that's fine. Andrew, can you mind that for me? Can you explain that? Well, it's just, it's one of those things where if a, an American has a, that's, uh, you know, takes a look at the Canadian identity in America, then it's fine. But a Canadian doing it, well, why? Why bother? Why? Why does the guy, main guy have to be Canadian? Why? And I just get tired of that. I get well, tired of that. Where does that come from? I don't know. I, the easy answer is that sort of, um, uh, you know, we have that colonial mindset thing. You know, we are English, Canadian, colonial, you know, Britain and England will always, uh, England and America will always be the big powers and we're just, you know, the, the, the lowly uh, uh, Canadians. And I just hate that. I hate it. I hate uh, that. David Young took, uh, and Richard took uh, Inexpressible Island over to uh, London, to the West End. Actually, they didn't take it. An American producer took a Canadian play. A Canadian producer didn't take it. Yeah. An American producer yeah. came up, saw the show Inexpressible Island, said, you know, we should take this further, and it should play in England. And it's a play set in the Antarctic about British <laughs> men. And the joke was, that David Young should have written a fictional biography of himself <laughs> and called himself a uh, librarian from North Manchester yes. and become English in order to have the play received in Britain without a colonial, uh, a colonial chip on the shoulder. Because yeah. as soon as the British press understood it was a Canadian play about a British subject, it was automatically, no matter how good the writing, put further down mm -hmm. the pile. And I don't, it, it does, it's <sighs> not something that, we, we're sort of stopping it's doing it to ourselves, but mm -hmm. it's still done to us. Oh, I know. And I don't quite see the way out of that yet. It's funny. Do our own stories. Yeah. Fuck them. I know, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I have yeah. another, I, one, more, one more question before we go to the audience. Um, and it struck me um, that those of you who write from history, usually writers who write from history, it ends up being drama. It mm -hmm. only rarely becomes comedy. Why? When we're so good at comedy. I know. We won't talk about all the great Canadian comedies that we've written. <laughs> I know. We make TV comic troops and then we send them to the States. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But why does histori uh, plays based on historical mm. events, well, I, why do they end maybe, up as drama, not as comedy? Maybe it has something to do with our battle with, um, with nature or something like that. Our confrontation with uh, the, um, uh, with resting a living out of this country which is the great theme of Canadian literature, is it not? You know, it's one of, one of the great themes anyway. That life is hard, therefore That life is tough, and, therefore, and, therefore bum and, people and it'll drag you down, and it'll make you miserable, mm. and uh, only the, the, the strong will survive. You know. But he's not a little Protestant about it. Oh, yeah. very. Yeah. Oh, very. Yeah. <laughs> because, Maybe. sure, but, I mean, when, when well, the Bush is, ladies, I mean, there were jokes then, and they were humorous people. Oh, yeah. Uh, when the railroad was being built with, you know, mm. Irish labor and Chinese mm -hmm. labor, mm -hmm. uh, there were jokes in the camps, mm -hmm. but we only write the, the drama. We write of, about we the terror. Maybe history's not funny. Maybe just deep down inside it's not funny. <laughs> Maybe it's just, you know, it's so serious. Uh, so what's not funny about history? Oh, I'm joking. Well, I, I think it... it <laughs> I think it, it harkens back to what we've discussed before, which is the, 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 uh, there's all these writers who are approaching history as a, as a museum, Ooh. and so they create museum theater, you know, and it's yeah. it's it's very stodgy and and uh, and boring well, Bob, and dusty. I'm I'm directing this summer at Fourth Line Theater, as I told you. Nice plug. And <laughs> yes. 
And uh, I am, this is a piece which uh, is a historical play about a woman from Hamilton, Ontario, who ran away from home, uh, a strict uh, Presbyterian household, to go on the vaudeville stage. And she was hauled back uh, by her uh, father when he found out that uh, she was not, as he thought, uh, a female vocalist at a pre Presbyterian church in, <laughs> in Virginia. She was flaunting her wares on the vaudeville stage. So he dragged her home, put her under house arrest, and very shortly thereafter, her sister, who was her sort of jailer, was found brutally murdered. So this is a wonderful murder mystery vaudeville entertainment. <laughs> All about Canadian history. There you are, in Hamilton, Ontario. What can I say? And in Hamilton, too. <laughs> Where all the good, the good murders... Where the good yeah, murders. Exactly, yeah. yeah, the good ones. <laughs> all those good female murderers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're all familiar. All right. No, actually, I think actually it's... So there, you know, it can be funny. Mm. I think it does happen on occasion. You can, where, you you know, can be funny. Uh, just certain events in history are, lend themselves more to comedy than others. But, uh, Such as... I'm trying to think. What's a good, Sex. What's a good example? <laughs> and matter, I was going to ask the audience. Well, later on, we'll ask the audience yeah. something. What's their favorite comic history film? Because play. we can certainly we satirize uh, politicians very easily. Mm. Uh, you know, whether it's tw 22 Minutes or SCTV or whatever, yeah. it's very 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 easily made objects of comedy. But in our in our plays that we write, we rarely <laughs> do that. But also, too, I mean, I can't remember the the exact quote, but history is the recording of bloody events. You know? Which could be funny. <laughs> nobody's, no, no. nobody's. Yeah, it, it can be funny. That's true. But yeah, yeah, yeah. like, it's pretty dire. You know, the the historical record is is lots of blood and gore, and uh, you know, gonna or the subjects that you're attracted to are only the heavy, painful subjects. Yes, and I think mm. a lot of a, a lot of writers are, are drawn to that. Well, there's a way of looking at history too. I mean, you could look at it seriously, or you could look at it funny. I mean, there's. I was reading the other day about uh, Semiramis, who like chased after this Armenian uh, uh, prince. And then, so t because she was in love with him, she was infatuated with him. So she sent her soldiers over to capture him, and in battle, they killed him. <laughs> you see, uh huh, uh huh. It's a little funny. It's sad. A little bit funny too. If you, if a good writer might be able to work that. Gee, it's really hard to get a good man these days. I don't know. <laughs> you use your own punchline. Somebody could come up with better. It than has that. occurred to me that in in history, we allow ourselves to ridicule the characters. We don't ourselves allow ourselves to ridicule the culture. Mm -hmm. And to have comedy, you have to be able to ridicule the culture. Oh, I think Canadians, we ridicule our culture all the time, though. In I'll which historical love. drama are you referring? <laughs> the Village of the Small Huts. You're right. And Michael should be here. But and that's Michael should yes. be here. Exactly. No, that's should be here. There we go. That's the only that's answer. That's about it. Who else <laughs> is doing it? Well, okay. All right. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> I get the hint. All right. Jeez Louise. <laughs> no, it's curious uh, that no, we, it's, that it's, it's a bit like satire, we will, we will satirize individuals, especially political individuals, we're very careful not to satirize non-political figures because we'll get sued, mm -hmm. but we rarely, so that already skews the object of satire, mm -hmm. but we rarely satirize the whole culture. That's harder to do. And I, I, I sometimes wonder if it isn't easier to satirize an individual person, and it's hard to satirize a culture. Which is some of George Walker's humor mm -hmm. in, in his mm -hmm. wild comedies. Mm -hmm. He's actually Absolutely. satirizing mm -hmm. the whole culture. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. I wish Absolutely. George would go back and write about yeah. Confederation, or write about yeah, the Fenian yeah. raids, or write about... I guess the, the Strazzi doesn't count, but uh, Close that was it. quite a funny play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, there's nothing there's sacred. sacred. Yeah, nothing sacred. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. But not and funny. And funny. Yeah, and I'm not suggesting any of the three of us do it, but it's, it's oh, right. underneath. Oh, it do you have any obligation to the, to the period or the family or the events from which you drew your... Did you feel, when you were writing, did you feel he had an obligation? Because he must have. To a certain degree, it happened. Too much, and I was yes, throttled by it. Yes, you I was have totally uh, throttled by it. Yeah. I mean, which is why I didn't write a play. I wrote an evening in the theater. You mm -hmm. have you know? And I needed a bit of Mark whispering in my ear saying, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I you think. Yeah. cheat all you want. If it works yeah. as a play, so what? It's great. Yeah. It's, it's good theater. Some of the most powerful dramas are those uh, like read, reading letters, reading letters of real people, 